Hi, my name is Charles Paulden. I'm a candidate for first district supervisor. Um, nice. I'm proud to be um, endorsed by Jimmy Phillips, who, who created the um, Santa Cruz graphics and was a, a beginning member of this uh, Pleasure Point surfing organization, the Pleasure Point Surf Association, among many other people in our community. I've worked for over 40 years with the Santa Cruz environmental um, communities, worked with Save uh, Lighthouse Field, Save Porter Cessnon, Save um, O'Neill Ranch, Save the Farm. I worked um, personally in, with Jan Butes, the former supervisor, to help save the windbreak in Pleasure Point for the Man Moran Butterfly Reserve. I worked with Jan Butes again when monster houses were threatening the community character of Pleasure Point to try to preserve our small cottage garden community. Good. Um, the supervisor, the current supervisor now came to me as a community activist, and I helped him to get into to get in to office. Now that he's in office, we seem to have a misunderstanding of what I was trying to do. He says that he cares about our community and that he cares about getting public input. I tried to get us a community um, museum and community center in the Pleasure Point Roadhouse. When it came time to get that, he didn't have a hundred out of $150 million, he didn't have any money for us to do that. Though he did was able to give more money to um, other areas. He says he cares about public input, but he gave $44 million in a no-bid contract in the middle of the night, unvetted with the community, to one of his campaign contributors. He's looking to spend four and a half million dollars to make the beautiful Schwan Lake area look more like the side of the river coming up by the boardwalk, not as beautiful. He took money that we had in the RDA plan for a bridge from Coffee Lane to Madison Lane to get people off the main roads, took that bridge money and he gave it to a project from Santa Cruz for a five million dollar bisecting of the green belt. When the people on 7th Avenue were concerned about a business in their community, he did not support them. So my difference with him is, yes, we have differences. We're two different choices. I'm for the people, the environment, the economy, and I hope that you will consider me as your supervisor. Thank you. Hello, my name is John Leopold, and I'm running for Santa Cruz County Supervisor in the Live Oak, Soquel, and Summit areas. I came to you four years ago uh, and ran a grassroots campaign, and hundreds of people came out. They contributed, they walked precincts, and we scored a major victory in my election in November of 2008. I'm coming back to you now in my re-election bid, and over the last three and a half years, I've tried to use the, the strategies that were so successful in that campaign to make county government be more responsive to the people. Uh, I have worked to involve people in uh, the community planning process. When we, when we plan for uh, the redevelopment area in Live Oak and Soquel, I worked to get 500 people to tell us how we should spend their tax money. When neighbors came to me and said that vacation rentals were dominating their neighborhoods and changing the very nature of our residential neighborhoods, I worked with them to create a vacation rental ordinance that not only brought order to our neighborhoods and preserved our residential neighborhoods, but also brought in a million dollars to our general fund each and every year. I think it's important as a county supervisor to protect the environment and as a member of the Local Area Formation Commission, uh, I worked with water agencies and community activists to come up with the first set of water policies that protect natural resources at that commission. Right now, I'm fighting to make sure that the people in Live Oak and Carbon Arrow have a chance to vote on the big desalinization plant that the city of Santa Cruz is proposing. Uh, we also have to look towards the future. And uh, in that redevelopment planning process where so many people got involved, uh, they told me that economic vitality was very important. And so I work with them to help create a position uh, where we have someone working at the county who thinks all day, every day, about the economic lives of the people who live here. I'm confident that we can create good jobs and protect the kind of quality of, of commercial space that we have here in Santa Cruz County. In my race, I'm walking uh, lots of precincts and lots of volunteers are helping me. I'm fortunate to have the support of so many. Uh, the majority of the 
County Board of Supervisors, the Santa Cruz City Council, the Capitola City Council, the Live Oak, SoCal, and uh, Mountain School Districts. Um, I'm proud to have the support of the Fire Board and the Port Commissioners, uh, the heads of every major uh, neighborhood organization in the district, as well as the business associations. They've all had a chance to work with me in these last three and a half years to help make our community better. I'm committed to continuing to work with you to ensure that county government works for you and, and does what you want rather than telling you how you should live your life. I look forward to working with you on my next term and uh, I hope that you'll take advantage of voting for John Leopold uh, this coming June 5th uh, for Santa Cruz County Supervisor. If you'd like to find out more about the campaign, please visit friendsofjohnleopold.com. That's friendsofjohnleopold.com. Thank you and I look forward to serving you. My name is Gary Richard Arnold. I'm running against the political machine in Santa Cruz County. Yes, there's a political machine, and it's a Malthusian political machine, meaning they're very interested in depopulation. When I went to the editorial board of the Santa Cruz Sentinel, I told them I didn't want their endorsement. The Santa Cruz Sentinel is stock, major stockholders includes the Bank of America that received TARP money and the Bill Gates Foundation. The Bill Gates Foundation is actively involved in the depopulation uh, around the world. Uh, their vaccinations in Africa that they give, the villagers run in the opposite direction. But the American people living in the Monterey Bay area that are subject to the chemtrails, uh, which is called Operation Cloverleaf, is totally ignored by this newspaper and by the Sierra Club and other people that are endorsing the machine candidates. When Louis Lee uh, Viejo came back from Harvard uh, University, he became mayor of uh, Watsonville, and he advocated putting the, the fluoride back in the water when the people voted against it. All of these people are endorsing my opponent, John Leopold. John Leopold did away with the appeals board, putting all of the power in back into the uh, supervisors, where they make the law, they set the executive's uh, uh, employment of it, and then they judge it also. This is a dictatorial uh, system of government which they're adopting. They have a contract with ICLEI. ICLEI is a front for the World Bank. Um, th these are the same people that PG&E came in with uh, that put the scientific weaponized spy meters that's on every house and business in the community. Uh, David Petraeus, the head of the CIA, had bragged three weeks ago that they no longer need warrants because they know that everything that's going on in your house. These people, the, the sheriff, that used his uh, uh, sheriffs to uh, enforce putting the, uh, uh, these meters on your house instead of uh, protecting the people uh, went along with ICLEI. Um, the organizations, you look at the political machines and then the endorsements back and forth. The ACLU is headed by uh, Andrew uh, Romero. The purpose-driven churches are run by Rick Warren. Both of these people are members of the Council on Foreign Relations. They're modulating you, they're attacking you with the chemtrails and the fluoride, and they're putting you in, they're incarcerating you in a way, shape, and form with the electronic grid. John Leopold is a rubber stamp. He'll do the same thing that the machine has been doing for a long time. Vote for the man against the machine. Uh, it's, it's, it's very easy. Your liberty and probably your life depends on it. If you go along with the machine, uh, you will lose the liberty, not only for yourself, but for your children. Vote for Gary Richard Arnold.